Hey, welcome to the Republic Forum. I'm Jeff. And I'm Tom. And how about that? We're both here on the same night in the same place, and it's another going to be a, a, tournament. a beautiful <laughs> third Thursday downtown. Yes, it is. All right. Beautiful, too. Yeah. It's not humid out, nice and warm. Come on down and have a good time boy, tonight. Oh, boy. You know, you could get a job doing the weather. Are you um? Are you going to be out there? Are they throwing pies at anybody tonight? Uh, no, no. They, but I heard they had a uh, boot set up for you. I thought that was going to be were... a nice Republican thing for no, you to no, have no, a pie no. throw. Well, you know, we got the Democrat like you. We're going to throw rocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I do he want to. I it. do want to start off with um, the fact that um, that was a horrible thing that happened the other day. No matter who well, you're going it's, it's for, it's uncalled for. Uncalled for, but Absolutely. and I and again, um, it's the temperature that's out there. Yes. There are a lot of nuts people out there in the world, uh -huh. and it only no, takes you're a second right. to trigger somebody. Hey, look at that. It's just like we've got it, one that's peeking it, in the window yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Bob, Bobby James again. That guy's again. always looking at me. He is. He is. You know? But, um, you know, it's like anything else. <laughs> I thought he was coming back in. <laughs> but, you know, I, it just, it, it's, I just well, wish it, that people on social in, media. I didn't see anything. I just wish the people on social <laughs> media, though, instead of blaming parties, um, this was a sick individual. Yeah, it was a lone wolf. Okay, and to sit there and say that say one party or something had something to do with it was... I expected it, Jeff, because of the fact that the heat of what's going on and people who are saying that, well, the only way that Biden's going to win is if they somehow do something to Trump. You know, but, you know, well, I, I will say this to you right now. If the election goes the way it's going at this point, you're probably looking at a landslide. Um, for for Trump's people, so uh, you know, I, I am a Democrat. I'm, I would say that in the next week or so, I would hope that I have a new candidate. Um, that's running I, for I, president. I don't know. I think it, you know he's dug in. Well, I think today you you had um, well, you, you have Obama you that Pelosi came out today, sh uh, um, stating that he should withdraw. You, you had Pelosi talk to him the yep. other day. I know he's been a little bit defiant. Shift, shifty shift. Yeah. You, I know he's you, been a little bit defiant because yep. as far as a lot of people are concerned, not everybody, including you, that he's done a pretty good job getting us out of probably one of the worst in our lives. Um, well, 2006 was bad, too. Yes. But, you know, with the financial situation, the, the country is not doing that bad. I, I, I love it that both sides are, are saying that, well, the country is in turmoil. People have money. They're spending it out there. Okay, um, prices have come down. I had a thing the other day that popped up. Gas prices three and a half years ago were almost four dollars a gallon. We're not we're, we're not close to that wait, at this wait, point wait, in time. Wait, wait a second. Oh, here the, we the, go. The, I was the, waiting for no, this. no, no. I, I just want you know people are out there spending money. Uh, this is the Republic Forum. We're a uh, nonprofit. Whatever the well, initials so we are. For after donations that. over so here. So if you want to send us <laughs> donations, we'll take money. I, if you've got I didn't money expect to spend. This. No, <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> but why not? You, you open know? the door. Yeah. You know the money, and I'm always going to walk through that door looking at money. So what do you think so, about is his pick for um, vice president, Vance. Um, but, you know, I didn't have a lot of, didn't really know he was on there, a short list in the beginning. Um, there isn't uh, a lot to know about his political no, stance. No, He's no. Been in you, you, you know what I like? <laughs> uh, what I like about his pick is he's a young Republican. That I like. Okay. That's, Not that he's a Republican, but he's young. Well, well, yes, I, you know, and I think that's something the Democrats got to look at too. You've got to be searching for somebody under seventy. You know, we have seventy-two kind, hours. Yeah, you know, kind of like us. And uh, you know what's uh, which was kind of funny coming out. They want him to um, uh, agree to a debate on a certain date, but you know, he came back with, "Who am I debating?" Yeah, you don't know. He, well, at this well point. right, we don't know. So you know, and they gave him a, a ration because he wouldn't say sure. But once again, why not? So well, look, um, the Democrats it, so are in turmoil right now at this particular well, point. Well, you know, I don't see how you get around Kamala. You know, so, I, well, it's because it's late. There are other people I think that would 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 run. Um, uh -huh. But you are late at this point, oh, so what do you do? Late. But I, I think Joe's asking, uh, President Biden is asking the right question at this point. If he's going to drop out and it's Camilla, can she win? Well, I don't okay? think so, and, but and that's... Just me. from people that I know of out there. I mean, look, there's going to be 
a vote against Trump. There's no doubt about it. Oh, there okay? always is. The Trump is. teams are going to vote for Trump, the Bidens, or whoever it is for Democrats. It's the people in the middle. It's the swing states. Will they go for somebody like Camilla? I, I have my questions still about that. Um, Cam- Camilla? It's not Camilla. It's Camilla. 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 I call it yeah. Camilla like anybody yeah. else. Okay. Well, I call her but I just things, um I, I just think that it's you know, it's a little late in the game. It is. Um, so I, I don't know who she, she's going to well, have to really look if she, if she's the nominee. Who's going to be the vice president? Well, how, they how, would how have to go with somebody younger. How do you get around not making her the nominee? Okay. I mean, you know, you're the uh, party of, uh, you know, inclusive and on and on. So how do you kick her, you know, the well, first? Well, I think she's the only one that's probably going to be sitting there. But again, I'm going to ask the question. If you take, if Joe Biden resigns or doesn't run, and she's the party's pick. Can she win? Yeah. Um, I, think, I still, I think in my question, thinking slim. is Biden probably out of the two has a better shot. I mean, you still have two or three months left to go here. I, I probably agree, has the better I, shot. I, out I agree of with that. Okay. And there's a lot more um, commercials, everything else that's going to come up. Look at the vice president, vice presidential pick from the Republican Party, Vance. Not more than six years ago. He was calling Trump names, this, that, oh, the yeah. worst thing around. He, yep. he even put him as somebody from Germany, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> and now all of a sudden they're, you know, and, and I get it. Trump said he never met me before, and as yep. soon as he met me, he loved me. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you first meet Trump and you're, and you're there talking with him, not over a screen. You fall in love with him. Oh, okay. It's a corner. You know, I guess everybody does. I, I, I don't know. You know, they're I, trying I, to meet him on a golf course down there. I, I haven't I, seen I, him. I've never met him. I've never, I should have sent you my tickets when he offered me tickets to the yeah. course. I t- you it, know. it only took a hundred grand donation. That's it. Yeah. And then he loved you. And well, you loved him. And then I got two tickets. I'll love you if you want to send that over. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Never made that donation. I don't play golf. I just, so. I just think right now you're gonna in the next couple of weeks you got the Democratic um, well, National Convention, convention and and I think as of today the big names um, in the Democratic Party was now Pelosi and Obama, um, and they've and they've said that he should look at you know not running. And you're not well, giving he, people. You got that guy, uh, the governor from California, out there. Oh, um, Newsom. He, he's well, already again, pulled worse than it, it, Biden. Uh, well, the, again, I don't think anybody until they're into the race, you're really not going to know their poll numbers. And I'm going to be honest no. with you, I'm not one All of these big guys with the polls. No. Um, because you can see, even back when Trump won, I mean, his poll numbers didn't show him winning. You're not at that like, point. Not like he did, no. Okay. Um, so, you know, and everybody was surprised at that point. And, and to be honest with you, uh, President Biden has won some races where they said that he was done. Yep. Okay. So I, I don't count anybody else who it's done, but I will say to you, it is looking kind of hard for President Biden to win at this particular well, I, point. I, I think it's looking hard for President Biden just to keep going, never mind when. Uh, but look, when, I you think know, his when policy first... making for our end, he's doing okay. Um, I think he still can do that job, but that's not your selling point. Your selling point is getting out and talking to the American people. Yeah. He's not doing a very good job at it at no, this point. No, no. The, the, uh, you know, uh, the other thing, too, is when he first ran for office for presidency, you know, there was talk about him just being a one-term I honestly kind of, thought that. Yeah, president, uh, you know, make room for, you know, some up-and-coming people, but evidently the party didn't groom those people. Well, right. evidently he wasn't thinking about one term. He wanted to. Well, and again, no, it, and it, again, it, for, it again for a lot of people, he, he believes, and I truly believe this, he believes he's the only one that can beat Trump at this point because he's done it one time before. Yep. Um, again, his numbers are 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 down. I mean, they're below forty. Yeah, it, it's well, hard. You know, he makes the Kool Aid that he gets and, to drink. You know, so my he, my he son, my yes. son said it to me. My son Tom said to me um, when this happened this past weekend. As soon as it came over the news lines, he said, um, "Trump's going to win, Dad, no matter what here, because he's going to be a martyr here now, um, and." People are going to go that that were probably on the fence that were Republicans or conservative independents mm-hmm. will probably go to him now just because of the fact that that happened to him. Well, you know, you know? it will move some people, but I think the uh, you know I watched the uh, uh, 
RNC last night, and I'm going to watch it again because I want to hear his uh, speech. And, you know, um, a lot of people, you know, if you've ever been shot at and heard bullets go by and stuff, it does. It wakes yeah, you up. It's I, a whole, totally different thing. I'm being honest with you, Jeff. I'm hoping his speech tonight, I which think I think everybody should be listening. Yep. Um, we'll see if Trump can turn it down a notch oh, and turn I, over to I, I think he's I mean, going to turn look it at his down face, a notch. I'll be honest with you. I mean, if you're in politics, yep. you listen to all of this stuff. Yeah, but you And you I watched watch. him come out the other night, and you could, uh, unless he's a real good actor. Yeah. Okay? Um, it does look like in his face. Yeah, look, it, he, he was, it's either here today or gone tomorrow, and well, he was close to it. it, it and well, hopefully it, it shaped him up because yeah. I, I think the way he's been talking out there um, I don't want to ever say that President Biden or, or um, you know, President um, Trump caused this, but the rhetoric that they have that was going on was just, yeah, it was yeah. just too much. And, and well, you know, it, it could have happened it, to either one of them it, at this point. You well, know? It, now, you know, why would why would you even do something like that to Joe Biden? I mean, anybody does that. I, I would like to slap them upside the head, you know, let Joe go the way Joe's He going. might not have been able to move that quick. <laughs> You know, besides things like that, uh, no, that kind of thing isn't called for. And what you know, if if uh, uh, Biden wants to call Trump names and Trump wants to call Biden names, it's one thing. But you know, uh, the the media, you know, the mainstream media, and some of these, you know, uh, they call themselves newscasters. They're not newscasters. The we're, talk show hosts, right? We're we're not news. This isn't news. We're talk show hosts. We have our opinions. We express our opinions. If you like it, fine. If you don't, who cares? You know, you can you can call in. And, uh, I care, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, once again, it's a conversation. And uh, they can have their conversations. But, you know, some of these programs that I've watched, um, and I do, I watch, you know, you always want to know your enemy, so to speak. And so you watch the their programs and uh some of the rhetoric coming out of them is absolutely horrendous you know and i, I you know and i look back and things i've said and on and on i can be pretty bad myself at times you know more local than it is national on things like that and usually it's more po you know it's policy not necessarily the people but i was just you know there was some people that were interviewed on the democratic side um that were out at, at rallies against trump yeah. this week and, you know, some of them that were interviewed, um, it, it, was, it was almost like you're sitting here as Democrats and you're sitting there going, well, all these Republicans, they believe in the conspiracy stuff and they're nuts and all the stuff out there. Yeah. And then I'm listening to these people that and they believe this in was their own. They, they believe that this was a setup. Um, oh, by, that this by happened. Trump. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and there is no one <laughs> that's ever going to set something up like this. No. It, I mean, they, they, they you can't control what happens at that point no i mean so you yeah, know 130 yards all that's you where we've gotten wind and today. Moved the bullet that's uh, it's that's how bad we as a country have gotten today that it's all conspiracy stuff and you know look there was the cia director as far as i'm concerned i didn't care who they are i really don't know her i don't read a lot up on her but she should resign because of the For fact CIA? was Wait a second. cia no she wasn't well CIA. the secret she service was... sorry the secret service well, you know, look, I'm going to say Secret Service, CIA, FBI. FBI. <laughs> um, you got you got the police departments down there. Well, they're all how in the world? It's not just one department. How no. in the world did they even let somebody get on a building that close to a stage, and you didn't sweep the building? Now, what do you think people are starting to think about conspiracies? Oh, because that should never have happened. Well, and no matter what the excuse is, the person at the top of that agency is the is, is the, the is the fall it, person. Absolutely. Okay, and down, that person, down to be honest with you, should should as soon as this, I, I I don't agree with some of the people that say she should resign right now. I think once it gets to Capitol Hill, which will be in the next week or so, yep. um, they should pretty much know what happened. Okay, oh, this ain't going to take long. And after that point, yeah, she, sh that person should resign. But it's not just, again, 
I, I get it that there's certain agencies that protect our president, but there was a lot more other agencies that were oh, there. Oh, absolutely. Okay. But, you, you know, one of the things, and I, I've talked about this before, we change our representatives, we change our senators, presidents, and on and on. But And, you know, the heads of a lot of these uh, agencies are political appointees. And uh, they need the change, too. And, you know, we had Biden coming out uh, just recently and Schumer talking about term limits for the uh, Supreme Court justices. And uh, it's funny they didn't say anything about term limits for themselves. <laughs> you, you, you know, so, I mean, you know, Schumer's been there. Pelosi's been there. There are uh, uh, McConnell and uh, some of these other. They, they've been there way too long. I mean, you know, we've talked about term limits on and on. And I, I really think if there was a constant turnover of you know, new new faces and new ideas and new people so they couldn't get entrenched in this type of thing. Um, it would be beneficial to the people. And, you know, um, the other I, thing... Jeff, I, you know, I don't agree. I, I mean, I agree with you on the term limits. I'm, yeah. I'm one from the Democratic side that believes it should be there. Um, you know, you're right. They're sitting there saying there is nobody that should have a lifetime appointment in this country. I, no you judge, know, nobody. No, I, okay? you know, I don't think and, so but either. But when they do talk about that, the term limit should be set. If if we have a term limit on the presidency, yeah, okay, um, there's no reason why you can't have it down in the two lower chambers. Now, oh, I'm absolutely. not sitting there. Come out with a time. I don't care whether or not it's eight years, 12 years, or 15 or 16, okay, so that you can have at least 16 years. Maybe that's, some people say that's too long, but hey, 20, 30, 40 years some of these people have been oh, well, you, well, you know, okay. they've never had a job. Yeah. They don't, they, they've been in political this all their life. And, you know, and you'll get totally a lot of the stuff touch. that's going on where they're making money off of oh. stocks. They're making money off so of other things with talk, companies. Talk that about, stuff would go talk away. Talk about Pelosi and her, you know? what she well, There's a lot of them on oh, the Republican no, the Republic, side, too. Oh, no, I, I agree. I, and I understand that. It is, and it's wrong. And that's why term limits would be important. That's another reason to look at um, uh, what the lobbyists, you know, and shut down a lot of that type of thing. And that, you know, no, they can't use money. No, they can't do this. No, they can't do that. Right. And things like that where they do. And and, and it's just wrong. And, so, again, and going, going go back, ahead. like, um, again, with uh, President Biden, with Kamala, um, I'm going to say this part. Everybody that I ever talked to that was worried about Joe Biden running again, that I know, mm -hmm. it was all about, I'm for him, it was about his vice president. They were worried that, okay, he wins and makes it through another one or two years and something happens to him, and then, who's the vice presidential pick? Yeah. So that's what I think is tough right now, is because a lot of people had that question about the vice president, because some of them don't think... That she's up to to it. Oh no, I, okay. I I clearly think probably the good seventy percent or sixty five percent of the public out there doesn't think she's qualified or capable. Well, I wouldn't of say it's job. that much. I think if you oh, talk I, to the I, Democrats, you probably. But even even if it's fifteen percent or twenty percent of, of the those Democrats, people, that's enough that if they go and vote for a Kennedy, yeah, okay, instead of going well, over to this know, side. That's enough that's going to sway so, it over so, to Trump anyway. Now, you know, with this, uh, with what happened, are they going to give Kennedy protection? Now, I know, I secret service, only, I, I mean, you know. I think the only way you get is if, you, if your numbers are at a certain point, right? I think well, that's he's how it works. he's running for president. He's on the ballots in a lot of states. Yeah, but he's not it, at the percentage polling. Again, uh, I think that's where they go by. Well, you know, I, I think that's wrong. I mean, you know, his, his dad, his uncles, and all kinds of people in his family have been assassinated. Yeah. And, he, you know, and I, I understand it costs money to put these details on people. But once again, somebody like that that's running. Well, I'm not saying he should. I, I think he should have it. Yeah. I'm you not know? saying he shouldn't have it. And I think he should have been included in a debate. Yes, especially. I think he should have been there. You know? Well, again, that's the two-party system. They don't well, want that independent Green Party or anybody else on there because they want their own two parties. Right. Well, this, you know, this, this is one of these things that brings out people starting to talk about this rank choice voting. You know, so you have a, a bunch of people running and they, they have... Uh, you know, uh, not so much primaries, but, uh, you know, uh, 
pre-election and you know you take the top five and you whittle it down whittle it down till you come up with one yeah but the other thing too is you know now that voting's uh, you know voting's going to start in 60 days in some states which is nuts you know this early voting and, and the kind of thing we're doing i i think that aids and um helps people with conspiracy conspiracy theories, theories yeah. too you know um you know, okay, It's suppose we do have a problem with people getting to the polls. You know what? Declare it a national holiday. Shut the country down for two days. Two days. Do the voting on those two days in person. At the end of two days, the votes are counted and we know. Not two weeks afterwards or starts, you know, well, 60 days. Well, you're still going to have to have some sort of voting by absentee for people well, that can't get out. Well, I, mean, I didn't you know. say you couldn't do that, but, you know, once again, absentee's got to be proven. You've got to have a record. You've got to be a United States citizen. There have got to be rules in place. And that's that. You know, it's not, oh, well, if you can make it, but you don't have to. They, they've, so they, they've cheapened it, I think, by giving you so much time to go vote. Yep. All right. It's it's you know when you in between the grocery shopping and the drugstore, you know we want you to vote. Granted, a lot of people might go vote when they're out yeah. and about doing things, but now I would say I would say this: you get outside of the Democratic National Convention. Let's just say President Biden is still running at that point. Yep. Okay. Um, I think two weeks outside of that, that's when if you want to start looking at numbers where, where you would see it, because I think once the stuff calms down about the attempted assassination on Trump, all the conventions are done, you're going to get back to what the, each party is running on. Yeah. And I still say that the uh, family, the, the woman's issue is still going to be a big swing. Well, on you, how people vote. And again, it comes down to the Pennsylvanias, the Ohio. Well, wait, wait a and, second. And you know, Don, Donald, I think it'll come through that. Donald way. Trump has come out and said, you know, he uh, did, he's he, already done his action. He, I think most people understand where he, he is. He, yeah, he's giving it back to the states. Well, I that's where it is now. It's at the states. Yeah, it's well, not. There's no federal. You know, Jeff, I'm going to say this to you. We have a part where it sits there and says no church and state. Right. In, in the politics. Right. So if there's no church and state, I mean, with, with inside of that, all of this stuff that we're talking about has a religious um, background. And, oh, there's a relig okay, so religious all tone all the way through. On, it, one, on, 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 the, on the one way of no abortions or anything, it has to do with a lot of religion. Now, I, I'm not sitting here saying that I'm for abortion or against abortion. That's a personal thing, I think, for everybody. Okay? Um, and... I don't know how you sit there and make rules up that when a doctor says a certain thing, that's what it is. And how can a legislator, whether it's in the state or not, have any business in any medical field? Well, they, you know, and that's the part that bothers because some well, of these states are going way too far. Well, I, you know, I agree when they say no. I, you know, rape, incest, uh, one of them's going to die or something, you know, dire is going on. Absolutely, you know, it just makes sense today because we can do it and we can save a life. But, but, but you know, just, who, just, who, just who are what, you or me to tell the woman on the other side what they're supposed to do? You know, that well, person it, when they pass. If there is a higher God, which I believe there is, but some people don't. But if there is, you're going to answer for whatever you did in well, your life. I hope not. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and and I shouldn't have to answer to a federal or state well, mandate no, by no, somebody. Well, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. You know, but I don't think, once again, at, at eight months that a perfectly healthy baby should be torn out and thrown away. But I also believe that Trump has toned it down on that end, and I think he's toned it down because that's where he's got a problem. Okay, well, but, I, I but don't it think it's going to be a, a it problem. Hasn't, any what he longer. did in his first term with the Supreme Court and a couple of other things, I, I you know, that stuff's never going to change in this my is, lifetime. Can, you know that. Can, can, okay? can, can Connecticut, we perform and more having, abortions and kill more babies yeah. than gun than anybody in the, I the whole him, United States. I will give him credit. From though. He's not. He's a good showman. Of course. They're because all having, having the other night listening and having the... Yeah, we'll come back because it's a break coming up because we'll get more so into we'll this. We'll catch you on the we'll, backside. We'll catch you on the backside. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome to the Republic Forum on the uh, flip-flop in the backside. We're and on this the is the flopper, Tom White. <laughs> 
the, when I was going, when I was going to the flopper, there you Fla- go. Flapper, would well, have been you know, better, if you're golf, you you flop, you know, your you ball flop. on the green, and I'm considered the flopper. I miss the green every time. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's with you, your wedge. You, you, you know, don't know this. The, no, I don't know that. You know, but I did play miniature golf last week. Oh, here we go. You know, and I got three holes in one. Yeah. Yeah, and the miniature golf, and I didn't yeah. cheat. I didn't do anything. I was just got. I'm, I'm so glad for you. I would. Uh, I'm hey, proud listen, of them. I got a 46 on the 18 You still holes. lost. No, I didn't. I won. And I got she ice, didn't beat ice cream. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your first mistake anyway. See, you're supposed to let the lady win. No. No? No. Uh, Why would you do that? I thought, know. hey, you know, keep they're, them happy, Jeff. they're all Especially about. Especially a guy like hey, you, listen, they keep them happy. They're all about equal rights and this, there that, and go. the other thing. So, right. you know what? I want the I brightest. Talk th- to her. You can do what, whatever you want. It, it won't make any difference. <laughs> you know, I did the same thing with the kids. If they don't earn it and they don't do get it right, that's it. Yeah, so what know. I was going to say, I'm very surprised, Nobody too. Nobody cares what you were going to Very surprised. Say. Yep, okay. Um, Teamsters president. Yes, United States he was Teams there. was there. Did not give an endorsement. No, he didn't. Um, it was but more it, or less to tell the Republican Party. We're here. That we're here and that you got to start treating the workers whether they're union or not, better. Now, you, you heard some clapping. I don't think it was an overclap. <laughs> for well, no. Okay. No. But, you know, I got to give, this is where I say that Trump's a showman because he is trying to court the union workers. Well, okay. You, and, and, he, and this is the first time ever that a union president has spoken in front of the RNC. Ever. I think you're going to, if you listen tonight, I think you're going to uh, hear Trump talk about a lot about the unification of the country and that we have to become, you know, one country running one flag, you know, kind of going all in the same direction, even, you know, while we're working through our differences. But we've got to stop all these uh, huge divides that are going yeah. on. I mean, and the, huge, and the biggest divide is between the upper class, what I call big business, and the worker. I would love to see the Republican Party talk about backing the workers. Because the workers actually are the ones that own this country. Well, then. It ain't the wealthy. There's more of us. The problem is that they they run the politicians. Well, this is true. And didn't I get, wasn't I talking about, we've got to get rid of the uh, special interest groups in Washington, D.C., the lobbyists, the non Yeah, and everybody pay, if you're going to pay taxes, everybody pay, you know, I I, I sit there and say, if it's 20%, you pay 20% of your business tax, just like I do on my own tax. I I like the consumption tax. And I'm not saying 20% is the right one. but No, I'm not. Yeah, no. And that was too high. Maybe seven. Seven. Listen, you gotta seven percent. Su- you gotta support. You gotta support the army, the navy. The oh Marines, yeah, no, but okay. I don't have to support you know uh, Wing Wang Wu down yeah. on East Jabru in some uh, Pacific Ocean. Well, nation. you know there are some states that don't have the money like other states have. Well, so, no, you know, I, you it's have one to thing about states, but bit. you know we give money away. I love billions. it. States' rights, but all of them want money from the federal government. I know. I know. The right? Left, left, I, that's the one thing hey. that I always love when they stand up there and say, we got to give the states more power. The states have they have the rights. Um, can you please send me a billion-dollar check for this project? Right, right. Well, the, the, you know, when they take uh, $2.50 out of your pr- taxes that you paid this year to build a bridge in Seattle, well, you know, we and we, then we take a dollar and a quarter from them to build a bridge yeah. in Connecticut. Look, or our da-da-da-da-da. highways, as far as I'm concerned, They're should horrid. be done by the, by the federal government. Should not be a They're state. They're supposed to be. It should be all federal government completely. The highways. The highways. The interstate system okay. is. Well, Jeff, it isn't funded completely by the federal government. Well, it should be funded. Because completely. you pay tolls, right, in well, certain states. Correct. In this state, you don't. We take money out of our budgets to help out in certain projects. Right. Okay? The federal government should be, every project should be completely it, run and paid for by the federal government. I don't have a problem with that. Well, the trouble is, that, you know, and, and what, what, it. whether it's in our state or federal government, you know, you put this money aside to do this and they rob it and they spend it and do it well, on I'm other things. I'm not saying there's none of that. You, you, well, and, and that's what destroys it. I mean, you know, you've been in finance and you, you're moving line items to do this and do that and with things. I mean, you know, in the state of Connecticut, the hunting, the fishing licenses, all the revenue from uh, guns, bullets, and on and on was supposed to go right to the DE, 
EP. And, uh, you know, they started to have this big fund grow up. And the next thing you know, they walked in and took it. You know, which is wrong. So, you know, they always say the lockbox, there's no such thing. And uh, so it's really, it, you know, another good reason, I, I believe, is to have term limits. So these people can't do this and say, well, we're going to rob this, we're going to rob that. These are the rules. This is what's in. Work within the rules. only way you're going to get the term limits is if they do a national amendment to the Constitution, right? Probably. And and you you know, we well, can sit here all the time. Yeah. I, well, I'm never you know, going to see it because it, it, these people are making too much money for themselves. Oh, they're making tons of money, and they're not going to cut, you know, cut their hands off, uh, despite their their nose off and despite their face. But uh, you've got the convention of the states, and they're getting more and more states together, and, and that's something that I watch, it, you know, uh, now and then. And there could be something that happens, uh, you know, in the next twenty, thirty years yeah. along that line if we don't start in a smart. Hey, up. just to remember, I think a short three weeks away, we're probably uh, we got primaries going on. Yes. Um, so we'll keep reminding you guys over the next couple of weeks, the yep, primaries. Yep. Um, you have some on the Republican side. Yes, we do. Um, and For, also uh, the Dem- judge of probate. Senate. I think there is one from the Democratic side. I'm really? not sure if there is on the Republican. Not that I'm aware of. Um, the, the one in the Democratic side, you got one person running from this town and another one running, I think, out of Colchester area. Ah. Um, from it. That is probably out of all the races because it's local. It's probably going to be the one that everybody should be interested in because um, the judge of probate, no matter who wins, normally if it's if they're from a bigger town, Colchester. Yep. Um, you know, Colchester people would love to have that seat that sitting there, which means that the main office would be over in Colchester, and sure. we'd have a little satellite. Yep. That's the argument that's going on because Wyndham has the main office, right? And they have. You know, business hours out there, but a lot of the times you got to come out here. That's what's going on in that race. So oh. People should really watch that because okay. if you're from here, you, I don't you, think you want to travel all the way to Colchester. Well, <laughs> you, it, it is probate, so you know if you're the one they're probating, it doesn't make any difference. You're not doing any yeah. traveling. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, you're true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> true. Oh, well, but, I, why would I kid you about something like yeah, that? Yeah, and, and yeah. you know, our, our judge of probate is John McGrath. Yes. And uh, it's not that I believe that he doesn't want to run, but they have an age limit. They do. They have an age limit what? on the judge of probate, and, and he can't run again. Wow. Wow. Supreme My, Court. He's that old. Supreme Court. <laughs> He's that old. No, you got a judge of probate. Yeah, that you got some type of a term limit because of age, right? Well, well that's because but, he's dealing with dead people. Well, I, I, here I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> you're a judge in the state. You, you, you're you know, a judge forever. Well, no, you have a certain time frame when they retire, but you can be a retired judge still doing some things. No, okay. But again, I'm sorry, Supreme Court doesn't can, have that, does it? No. Nope. There no, but I I think we should have we should start with our elected officials and grow it from there. No, I I seriously think uh, uh, the government needs to be overhauled, and I think a lot of these uh, uh, people that are in charge of these agencies that are political appointees uh, have to answer. I mean, I, you know, look at the hearings that have been going on, and nobody's held accountable, which is absolutely horrendous. Well, look, look, you yeah, and I are being jailed. How do you, how do you hold people accountable when you got the, for the lawmakers, the judges? Which is the Supreme Court. When it, they, they, it's unbelievable when you listen to politicians from both sides of the party that they're amazed over what some of these guys have been doing. Getting boats, getting trips, getting this, getting that, and now we're going to make a law against it. You didn't know this stuff was going on? Of course you know I why? knew it was because going on. Because half of you were doing it. Right. You know, it's, it's as crazy it's as amazing. everybody being so surprised that Joe's having problems. Okay. I mean, that's been obvious for Look, a while. I don't care who you are. When you get to that age, now I'm not sitting here saying that he can't be the president at 80 years old. I'm being honest with you. I, I don't. There, there. Reagan. Joe Reagan can't. was in there. Joe can't be. Okay. But there. People Some people, when you faculties. get to a certain age, you don't. You don't get out and do your speeches and and stuff the correct way that you did when you were 60 70 years old. No. You're not as sharp as that. No. That doesn't mean that you that you're not sharp enough to do the job. Yes it is. No, nah, I, I I would say oh, that no, there's no. a you, lot of people that right. I know that are 80 years old that are that 
that are fine to still do it. Everybody sits here, Jeff, because you and I have done it. We talk about people. I'm not and 80 we gave years old name, yet. And we gave a wrong name sometimes. Okay? Not um, me. And Yes, you have. <laughs> okay? But but the news media, and you got to love it because they – I. I don't think they're for anybody, here, to be quite here honest you go with, with you. Here you go with your conspiracy theory that for I used anybody. to run No, this is the news media. Yeah, they're there for their ratings. Oh, absolutely. Okay? They and, make money. And they love, I don't care who you are in politics, they love to tear you down, and then they build some of the people back up. Right. Or, okay? or they'll it's beat just you amazing. up and then tear you down. Yeah. Well, look what they're doing to Joe. They built you know, him up, and now well, a lot of them are turning you on You know, him. there's certain networks out there, major yep. ones, Oh yeah. that um, have been... Banging at Trump for how many years? Oh, a long time. Okay. Uh, and how good Trump was. 2016. Boom, 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 and, and, and they pushed everything. If anybody is to blame where things are right now, it's not the media on Trump's side. It's the media that's over here. If you think that, Tr- that Biden shouldn't have been running, you should have known that seven months ago. And you should oh, yeah. have been banging at this seven months oh, ago. Oh, absolutely. Not something that is a month or two or but less they, than a but, month but before they, the national convention. And they're, to be honest with you, they they're the it. ones that are banging it. Right. But because they the knew. normal person like us, if we didn't hear it, wouldn't bother us, right? Nope. They're making it more. Oh, absolutely. <coughs> absolutely. But they knew, you know, six months ago, you know, where Joe was and this and that, and they didn't yeah. bring it out. So I, that, that certain network that, that I won't say on this show. You want me to? But that certain <laughs> network, um, as far as I'm concerned, for the people that are on a center left, the reason why you're going to lose the election is because of that station. Oh, absolutely. Because they have just killed Biden off. And I shouldn't use it that way. But, I mean, they just have taken everything out of his sale at this particular point. Uh, yep. And, uh, no, I think, it, well, it, I would say they're almost inoperative. I don't know who's necessarily pulling their strings. But they're inoperative for maybe Obama. Or something like that. And they get the phone call. This is what the stories we want you to push. This is the narrative we want to push. And now that we've seen that people are getting shot at, or, you know, President Trump was shot at, you know, are we going to see more people get shot at? I hope in, not. In, in, you know, it, coming it up, I, I are we going to see another attempt coming up to the election and things like that? You know, um, you know, how much more protection are they going to get? Is Joe going to be walking Look, around with a lot more protection? Look, when you, when you start fooling protection? around with people's rights, I don't care, again, either side of the party and how you believe. Yeah. Okay? When you stop messing around with people's rights and, and um, you know, um, that's what's the, some of these fanatics are coming out. There's oh, no doubt about uh, it. absolutely. Okay? And I'm sure it's on both sides. I'm sure they've had, I'm sure that, you know, the, the Secret Service, CIA, FBI has, has put down a lot of different people that well, have done you know, I, that But would, you're not going to stop all of them. I don't no. care how good you think our service is. Well, no, it, there's always one. But, you know, I was reading an article. Uh, there were 457 threats against judges. You know, most of them were from people that were in prison yep. already. But there are a lot that aren't. You know, so, you know, a lot of these people put up with you know, have to undergo this type of thing with the threats and on and on. Uh, you know, look what they did to Kavanaugh and things like that, which was totally against the law, what they did. But, you know, the Justice Department do, didn't do anything about yeah. it. You know, all the way back to the uh, Black Lives Matter riots and uh, stuff like that. Nothing happened or became of, you know, right. anything became of it. So, you know, there is a sense of we've been building uh, this expectation of lawless, lawlessness for certain groups. Uh, to be able to go out, you know, and do things with a certain amount of impunity. And I think that's something that, you know, we need to stop. I mean, when you, when you have uh, uh, the Black Lives Matter, I'm just going the group coming out against Israel, you know, and, uh, and the people that are for uh, Israel and Jews and things like that. When they st- we have all these little fractions that are coming out against one well, another. Well, you know, you're, we're always going to have different sides oh, and again I, I that's know. what's good about our country that, that we can protest and do certain things okay when you don't when you don't agree right. I, I'm okay with that I just think that when it gets to top elected officials 
and the way that they talk about certain things. Instead of sitting there saying that, look, we all have a right to sit there and protest and this, but it should be peaceful. That you know, there was a lot on both sides. Well, the way they define talk. peaceful. Okay. Well, you know, that's, look, that's, peaceful to me is you can be going down Main Street, Willimantic, yelling, screaming, chanting. Okay, but there's no hitting, no fighting, no pushing of people. Oh, okay. But again, so how did how? But, but, but you, how? Okay? But to be honest with you, mm-hmm. Jeff, though, from the '60s. Oh no! <clears> been... How did how did we get to a point where laws were changed? Okay, um, on on racial things. Okay, it's because the people Start... stood up and said, oh, "No, enough is enough." And sometimes that stuff happened in order to push things a certain way. Yep. Not saying it's right or wrong, but you know. It happens in every well, country, I, I, but no, I, I, most of the time we, we're, we're pretty civil about things yeah, in this country. Yeah, well, how about all the protests that were going on in the schools, you know, where they were building encampments out there, and, you know, the schools would come in and you tell them, you know, the pro-Palestine uh, movement, you got to leave, and they don't leave, you know? Yeah. It, it, so if you're told to leave and you don't leave, have you become non-peaceful now at this point? You know, on private property, this, that, and the other thing. You know, and they get arrested, and they get well, all look, upset. We again, like you, said, we have a lot of different races, a lot of different religious. Well, we are the melting pot, country. absolutely. Okay, so we are going to have issues um, time, on time to time. I just hope we never get where we are in the Middle East and how these people are. Um, we're getting down to the last two minutes. I just wanted to say because. Um, We've lost a couple of people in this town over the last month. Charlotte Petros passed away um, with this last month. She was a longstanding person in the community. She was ser- she served on our commissions, also on the Board of Selectmen Town Council for a number of years. Um, and um, uh, I'm trying to uh, – Bob – um, Haddad just passed away this yeah, past okay. Friday. Again, he was an administrator, principal, teacher in this school system for years. The Haddad family, you know, Has out there, Mooney Haddad, there was, yep. you know, Bob Haddad, the whole bunch of them out there. I think he came from a family of 11 or 12 people, Oof. you know, and he, I think he's the last part of that generation of that family and stuff. But I had saw, I, I saw him probably about two months ago. Um, and uh, with his illness and stuff, and uh, a bunch of us were over his house talking with him. Great guy right to the end. He loved this community, loved the kids in the community, always talked about the kids in the school system here. So um, he'll be sorrowfully missed. Hey, listen, and it is Third Thursday, and I'm sure there are a lot of people going to miss him, but it is Third Thursday. You know what? I'm used to the later time when they'd have more going on out here. Yeah, you know, uh, well, watch, I just we had to start earlier because you need to be in bed on time. Well, this is true. I can't stay up any later than Joe. Eight o'clock, we're in bed, you know, <laughs> and I and I and I got to stop work at four o'clock. Well, actually, I go to work at four o'clock, but I and well, come on down I'm, to third I'm Thursday is what he's it. trying to say. Have yeah, a good time absolutely, and support it out. Yep. Till next week. Good night and God bless.